Yo, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Route 4, and with Sharon's help, we rescued a little girl's Pokemon. In today's episode, we are actually going to be making our way through this route, and hopefully making it to the next town. Now, very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and use a Repel, because I know we're going to be bumping into a lot of Pokemon in this grass, and I don't really want to go through the trouble of battling. Let's go ahead and get this Super Potion then, and we can head downwards. Finally, we are making progress through a route. What is this madness? Let me get this Pokeball. We found ourselves an Antidote. And there is someone down there that looks a whole lot like Sharon. Are we gonna have to battle him again already? Rodri, stop! That dark tall grass over there! Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop out at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading on to Nacreen City. Alright, see you later. I guess we're gonna be making our way to Nacreen City. And I'm going to be very careful to be going into that grass. Ooh, looks like we just dodged a trainer. I'll probably go back and, uh, you know, go up against them here in a little bit. It seems like there's another trainer right here, but there's actually something special that we are going to be doing today. We are going to be adding our first team member. It's gonna be right here in the grass, so I'm gonna run around, and once I bump into it, I'm gonna come right back. It'll be like two seconds. And there we go, that's the Pokemon we've been looking for, it's Pidove! So yes, we are actually going to be adding Pidove to our team. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Water Gun. Hopefully I don't kill it, I am level 15, so hopefully this doesn't faint it. We got it down to the orange, hopefully this does it. It's going to be going for the Gust, it's pretty cool that it's level 9. It isn't going to take a whole lot of training to get it caught up. Let's go for a Pokeball. Ooh, a Heal Ball! You know what, let's go for the Heal Ball. Uh, why not, it's kind of cool that we got those from the little girl. So we might as well go ahead and use them. Alright, I'm going for the AB trick in it. For some reason, I always do this. And it seems to work a lot of the time. And there we go! Gotcha! Pidove was caught. Welcome to the team. And yes, we are actually going to be giving Pidove a nickname. I'm very excited. It says, Pidove, tiny pigeon Pokemon. Each follows its trainer's orders as best it can. But they sometimes fail to understand complicated commands. So yes, let's go ahead and give this Pidove a nickname. And now, this is actually going to be... A name in Spanish. Uh, we are actually going to be naming this Pidub, you will see in a couple seconds, uh, after a Spanish word. So I'm going to go ahead and type it in very quickly. Some of you might be able to guess it if you know Spanish. If not, uh, then you might not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And we are going to name our Pidub Flotar, which means float in Spanish. So there we go. Welcome to the team, Flotar. I am very excited to have you here. I'm looking forward to taking you along our journey. Let me go ahead and use one more repel. I don't know what's ahead. But I'm looking forward to it now that we actually have another team member. We found a great ball down here. Very cool. That is our first great ball. Pidove was actually very highly suggested by you guys. So it's going to be a great addition to our team. And I'm really looking forward to training it and taking it along our journey. It's going to be a great adventure and I'm really, really excited for it. Okay, we made our way down here and we found an awakening. Tons of items on this route. I did not think there were going to be this many. There are also a lot of trainers, which I'll probably come back and train Pidove on uh, so we can get it caught up. It is January 9th, 2013. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Uh, I know I am. It's going pretty great. First week of school, and it looks like Sharon is here trying to tell us something. Come with me a sec. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center, and use these if you want. So we obtained some Chesto Berries. Very good. Give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold. Then if it ever falls asleep, it'll wake up immediately. Oh, and another piece of advice. Nacreen City's Gym Leader uses normal types. If you have a Fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Thanks, Jaren. Catch you later. All right, we should probably head inside and rest up our Pokemon so then we can continue on. As I was saying... Oh my gosh, it's Nurse Joy! Joy, uh, I, I don't think I've met you before, but, you know, that pink hair... It, it's like the sun is shining down on it, and you just have this great shade of pink. It's, it's like roses in the spring. What can I tell you, Nurse Joy? It's so great to just be in your... Pro oh, you're done? Okay. Well, that's great. I uh, guess she healed up the Pokemon very quickly today, and I think we are pretty much ready to enter the gym. All right, let's make our way up here then and figure out where this place is. Uh, we are in Nacreen City, which is pretty dang cool. And let's go ahead and read the sign. It says, Nacreen City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Lenora. 
an archaeologist with backbone. Ooh, this is gonna get exciting. And let's go ahead and make our way inside. Okay, it's N. I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truths of how trainers should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Uh, I, I guess, yeah, sort of, I agree with that. That's so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Okay, here we go, Rodri versus N! We're battling N once again, we are challenged by Pokemon Trainer N. This dude is very mysterious, very strange, it looks like N also has a pit of, which is gonna make this quite exciting. We're gonna send out Roran first, let's go ahead and show him our moves, Roran, let's do this. I'm gonna go for the water gun. Piddove is going for a quick attack. You know what? You go ahead and do that. We're level 15. We're looking quite good over here. All right. Uh, let's go for a tackle then. I don't know which one's going to do a lot more damage, but we'll give it a shot. We also have water sport, which we haven't used yet. So we might have to use that very soon. Let's throw up another tackle. All right, Piddove. Go with the quick attack. You do your thing. Oh my gosh. A crit with one HP. Wow, okay, ah, uh, it might be time to use a potion. All right, well, that was nice, that was nice, and I did not think your pit up was gonna be that strong, but, oh, uh, you know, when it hits a crit, there's not a whole lot I can do. All right, Pidup keeps going with a quick attack. This should finish it off unless N uses a potion, and it doesn't look like N's going to. So let me go for the tackle. That's gonna take down the Pidup. Hopefully, it being one of his strongest Pokemon, uh, because if not, things are gonna get tricky. Roaring grew to level 16. Fantastic. Pokemon Trainer N is gonna send out Time Pull? I have no idea what that is. So I'm just gonna take a chance and hope that Mittens is super effective against it. As you guys know, I've never played this game before. So, uh, you know, the large quantity of Pokemon, over 100 Pokemon in this generation, I do not know anything about. That thing looks like it's a water type. Great! That was a horrible call on my part. I'm gonna go for the lick. Uh, time pull is going for the supersonic. We It missed. W did we use the lick at least? I'm pretty sure that is gonna paralyze it. Fantastic! Okay, we did something right. I'm gonna go for the scratch now. And you know what? We might be at a type disadvantage, I think, but at least I can weaken it down a little bit uh, to switch off and maybe bring uh, Floater in here. I'm gonna go for the scratch then. Let's see how much damage that's gonna do to it. Okay, okay, you know what? Slowly but surely, we're getting it down. And the Lick is actually a very good move. Come on, Mittens, let's go ahead and do this. Please, Mittens, hit a crit or something. We need that right now. Time Pull is going for the Supersonic. Which is just absolutely fantastic. You do what you have to do by all means. All right, I'm gonna go for another scratch. Let's go ahead and do this. Come on, Mittens, don't be confused now. Don't you dare be confused. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mittens? Okay, here comes the bubble beam. And wow, that really hurt. Okay. All right, Mittens, you're gonna have to take one for the team here. Um, oh man, this is gonna be very difficult to do. You know what? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, goodness. I don't even know. Should I sacrifice Mittens? Okay, you know what? We won't sacrifice Mittens. Uh, we're gonna send out Floater to get some XP, and then we'll switch out to Roran, and hopefully Roran will be able to finish it off. It is paralyzed, so it's looking quite good. That heal ball is really cool looking, by the way. I'm actually really glad we caught Pidove in it. Holy crap! Okay, once again, how about we switch out to Roran? Because we are getting pounded by N right now. Whoever this mysterious trainer N is, is sure raising his Pokemon correctly. Maybe some of that philosophy he's trying to put on us is correct. Uh, because as of right now, it's making things really difficult on us. Alright, let's go for the tackle. Um, hopefully that does quite a bit. We're three levels up on this guy, and he's paralyzed. We hit a crit. Time pull is down. Awesome. Okay, we gained a bunch of XP. Floater gained XP. Mittens gained XP. Timber is coming out. What is a timber? All right, I'll keep roaring out. Oh, man. I really need to start learning these Pokemon. Timber? The heck is that? Oh, I actually do know what this is. Um, it is a fighting type because you guys have told me about this Pokemon. So thank you guys for telling me that. I would have no idea what this Pokemon is. Uh, but thanks to your guys' comments, I actually have heard of this one. All right, let's go for the water gun then. And Timber has fainted, so great, it looks like we did it. We gained a bunch of XP, we defeated Pokemon Trainer N. 
I cannot see the future yet. The world is still to be determined. We got 1300 for winning! Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So, I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Ooh, that is sounding a little corrupt there, N. Now I know what power I need. Zekrom! The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Whoa, something very strange is happening here. Uh, and it looks like N is going to be a bigger part of it uh, than we realized. Because Zekrom, I'm pretty sure, is one of the legendary Pokemon, uh, if I am correct. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon uh, one more time then. And we will be ready to enter the gym. Let's go ahead and exit out of here then. And we can just chill outside for a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to be making our way inside the gym and battling Lenora. I'm actually very excited for this. Uh, once again, let me go ahead and read the sign. In the next episode, we're going to be entering Nat Queen City's Pokemon Gym, taking on its leader Lenora, an archaeologist with backbone. So if you guys have any tips on the gym coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.